Game Dev Tycoon. There we go. Don't know why everybody's dying, but still. Okay, so the last last episode, Death Pong Forever Eternal Edition. Uh, made a fair amount of money. Uh, Codename Grid's coming out fine. It'll take a while before we get anywhere. Okay, so in that case, let's... Nobody needs a vacation. Can I do publishing deal? Nope. All right, let's develop a new game. Oh, it's going to be large for everyone topic. It's going to be ninja. It's going to be action. It's going to be for the... Play System 2 on the Earthworm Jam. And we're going to call this one... We're going to just call this one Ninja Brian. Actually, mm, let's make it mature. And move the face cam, of course. So we're just going to call this one Ninja Brian. It's going to be a mature game because good God, all that blood. Let's see how it goes. Uh, mm, you know what? No. No, it'll, it'll be for everyone. Okay. <laughs> Copyrights. If... If, uh, if Ninja Sex Party goes after me for making a Ninja Sex Party sort of themed game, then I will be impressed to no end. Okay, let's have Alexis work on that. We don't need storing quests. Oh, I see that. Yeah. That, actually, let's do that. And then let's just buff this up just a little bit. Because who does storing quests anymore anyway? Stealing Ninja Brian's money. I mean, shh. Game off the market, Death Pong Forever, made $18 million. That doesn't even make sense. That game was a piece of trash. All right. And McNamara from Game Informant. Punch Everything is working on a new game. Sure, interview. Expectation. Uh, let's be mo modest. Okay, thank you for the, your time. Today, Microsoft presented their new console called the Mbox 360. And relative purchase price, selling the market uh, device at a loss. Part of long-term strategy to gain a market share. Gamers around the world are excited by the new console, and it's predicted the Xbox 360 will have a massive impact on the console market. Okay. Well, let's see if Ninja Brian uh, turns out well. I don't know. All oh, the little kill kitties will kill with pleasure with the new Ninja Brian. Alright. AI. Max that shit. Level design is pretty important. Dialogue. Fuck it. Who cares? And we'll take a dialogue trees. It'll still have better dialogues because question mark, but still. Okay, and people are going to need a vacation after this one. That said, it looks like uh, Ninja Brian's turning out pretty damn well. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Make medium games at all at times. It's good money with smaller working required. I tend to switch back and forth between. Okay, and sound design, I guess. Graphics are important. Liam Barnes is stressed out though, so let's... Throw you into the mix. Okay, that seems reasonable enough. Okay. Did I ever get the prompt to s telling me to stop making them? Nope. No, I never got any prompts telling me to stop making large games or anything of the sort. Uh, these guys are stressed, but at least they're making a fairly quick game. Let's get those bugs down. Okay, EPA. I'm an employee of the Environmental Protection Agency and have an offer for you. Your company has a high electrical footprint right now. If you want to install solar panels, you would decrease your footprint and save money in the long run. You would sponsor 50% of the cost, which brings your investment to 200000 Would you like to install it? Sure, why not? Great, it was a wise decision installing Solar Collector. Yay. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's do a little bit of marketing. Small campaign. Don't actually think that increases our hype. Okay, let's just wait until everything's slowed down a little bit. The 360 is out. Okay. And Punch Everything has recently installed solar panels in their offices. While the, the video game and software industries are one of the cleanest industries on Earth, they do eat up a lot of electricity, so installing solar panels can really make an impact. Okay, we done? Just don't want any surprise bugs at the very, very end. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't spoil too much for me, guys, if you can. Because I have no idea what I'm doing half the time here. Okay, lots of levels, though. Let's release the game. And salary increases. And research. Online play, realistic weather, orchestral soundtrack. Okay, so first and foremost, sending everyone on vacation. Because that is super important. Uh, simulation games are really popular right now. Okay, ooh, I know. 
I know what we can do next. Ah, uh, quirky but good. Ninja Brian did not do as well as I was hoping. Close enough, though. Could have been better. And beautiful. Well, they thought Ninja Brian was beautiful. So I guess that's a little bit of a benefit. Okay, let's release a game report on Ninja Brian. And eh, let's go with the medium booth. We don't have any good games along the way. Let's see. What reference are we looking for, specifically? I have no idea. Uh, I know there's the, the Okami poster, the Halo poster, Hero Citizen. Don't actually know what that's supposed to be. Anyway. Uh, industry news. We just got word that Ninja Brian was recently uh, released by Punch Everything, and it's gone gold. Oh, hey, cool. So, didn't make as much money as I wanted it to, but it made a fair amount. Oh, what does the whiteboard say? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, G3 should actually give us some bit of a sale boost. Okay, yeah, I knew about the Okami one. That's why I made the uh, Dog Kami game at some point. Star Citizen? That, wow. 43 with Ninja Brian. That should give us some sale bonuses. Cutscenes, super player, rank. Nope, did not give us the sale bonus we were looking for. Okay. Additional insights, focus our entire team on the development of the game. I mean, we we were. That's what we were doing. Okay, so let's let's do some research. Multi-genre seems like it'd be fun. Oh, we can do stereoscopic stereoscopic 3D. That's a good one. Where's online play? Okay, so we've got online play. And we've got I want to say stereoscopic 3D. No, that's that's different from 3D graphics though. Maybe? Oh, let's see, what else do I have? Yeah, let's go with it. Let's just keep researching the small stuff. Like, uh, mod support. Mod support seems like it would be fun. And research. Anything else small? Uh, achievements. Might as well go that direction. Next up. Contract work. We've got to have some small ones that we can do. You three should be able to finish this in no problem. In no time flat, right? Yeah. Good. Uh, am I planning on doing Interstellaria tonight? Yes. I will be... I, I can and will do Interstellaria tonight, I think. Because they recently patched it, and it's pretty top. Okay, more contract work. Okay, what else do we got? Ninja Brian's not doing half bad. Let's see. More contract work. Nope, can't do that. Not even close. Can I do that one three weeks? Ah. That'd, that'd be pushing it. I'd be pushing it really hard. We might be able to. Usability study? Can I do that? Yeah, I can probably do this. Four weeks. Just trying to get as many RP as possible. Wow, shit. They work fast when they want to. Okay, game. Oh. Shit's going off the market, and, uh, Ninja Brian's done well. Oh, uh, today Ninvento has announced their bid in the next generation console market by announcing the new. Instead of trying to compete with Micronoft and Vonion hardware strength and graphical power, Ninvento has decided to deliver a truly unique gaming experience. The new features a controller with a built-in motion sensor, which allows players to stand in front of their TV and use the controller as a counterpart to virtual objects, such as a ten tennis racket. First play testers were seen with huge grins on their faces. It seems like a lot of fun. The new, you know, in retrospect, I think I actually would have liked the uh, the new as a name instead of the Wii. Oh well. Anyway, uh, let's let's develop a new game. So simulation. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We're not developing a new game. We are creating a sequel. Let's go find it. We've made Death Bong, Bird Band, Trace X, nope, not Hello, not Last Fantasy, Bird City Nights, Warmageddon, Mad Mod, Bird on the Hill. There we go, the last Keith. Okay, so it's going to be, for mature audiences, it's going to be a large game. This one's going to be... Keith, though. And platform. Can we... Yeah, let's just put it on the PC. What's its market share? It's actually got a pretty good market share. Even nowadays. Okay. And Keitho will be the first 3D entry, I think. Yeah. Might as well. 
Okay, 3D graphics. V2. Okay, so we want engine and gameplay. Story and quest, not important. Looking good. We'll have engine somewhere kind of in here. Okay. There's the productive productivity we were looking for. I was I was worried we'd be going into this uh this project with like next to no stats. And I think we won't have any problems. It it seems like if I send all of my guys on vacations, the first project they work on does well, and the second project they work on, they're all cranky at me. Okay. Uh AI is important, level design, dialogues, okay. S seems like a pretty good even split. Okay, Mbox is no longer supported. And earn five million from that. Games for is no longer supported. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna have a really high design. I'm okay with that. I'm very much okay with that. And we're still working on codename grid. It'll take a little while, but I think that's a fairly good budget, so I don't wanna do too much. Uh, let's see. Don't need much for world design, graphics. Looks like everybody's pretty happy with this. I don't I don't know if this is going to be a particularly popular game. I don't know, Keith. You might, you might be hitting the end of your rope. Hey, Echo. How's it going? No, no, this last flurry of activity is definitely boosting it up pretty fast. Okay, Keith, Keitho might actually turn out to be a good game. Okay, market analysis. Uh, oh, damn it. We just, we just missed it. Oh, well. Could be worse. Could be better. Let's see if I tried firing everyone. I've not tried firing everyone. But I've definitely fired some people, and the new has been released. Okay, so we can make the um, Legend of Zeon next. Okay, no new bugs. Good. Oh, new record for technology. Okay, Keitho might actually turn out to be good. Okay, salary increases. Yeah, that makes sense. Cooperative play. Are you kidding me? We haven't got that research yet? I guess not. All right, how'd Keitho do? Ooh, 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 ooh. Almost perfect. Very good. Played it for days. Everyone loves it. Alright. I thought it was the end of... of uh, I thought it was the end of uh, Keith. But no, Keith... Keith continues... His, uh... His market... Um... Not saturation, but like his his market. I don't know. Relevance? There we go. He he's spanned multiple offices and multiple generations at this point. Alright, Punch Everything Incorporated has re recently released a sequel to their game, The Last Keith. The newest game in the series, titled Keitho, is met with great responses. Critics praised that Keitho had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical in innovation. Okay. And because of that, it's selling even more. It's gone gold. Let's keep finding contract work. Nine weeks to get that done. That's ridiculous. All right. People are apparently jealous of Keitho. Hey, Moon Loon. How's it going? Okay. If you're not a fan of... Uh, yep, okay. Just saying, start playing Keitho. Go, go, Keitho. Unfortunately, that's all of the... I mean, we've done... We've done Shadow of the Ke Keith Losses. We've done the last Keith. How old was that engine? Kind of old. I'd like to get new 3D stuff, but I don't think I have it yet. Wouldn't mind getting a new 2D engine at some point. Oh. Keitho got, uh, went platinum. Nice. Made me some good money, too. And Story and Quest seems to me not very important for this type of game. Obviously. All right, uh, contract work. Did we have a... Nah, that seems outside of our reach. This seems reasonable. I mean, we might actually be able to do the other one. We tend to knock these off in, like, next to no time. Uh, let's try it. I mean, worse comes to worse, we make a bunch of research points. Yeah, we can do this. Nice. Okay. Uh, medium booth, large booth. Okay, so let's finish this quick. Okay, develop new game. Uh, we're going to make, uh, 
Key it for young people. It's going to be a large game. Oh, Keith Among Us. That's a good one. So we've got the Legend of Zendar. No, I don't know. Anyway, um... It'll be a dungeon RPG. Yeah, we'll go with Xeon, seeing as it was recommended. I was trying to bring it closer to Zelda, but no such luck. Okay, so we're going to put it on the new uh, market share. Yeah, let's give it a go. And pick game gen eh, game engine, Earthworm Jam. I'm going to need a new engine after this one. Oh, well. 3D graphics and contract successful. It's... I know it's E for everyone, but I wanted to make, like, a, a young thing. I don't know. Anyway, this is an RPG, so we want branching story, simple simple cutscenes. I like how Grognar is just kind of, like, secondary man here. Okay, let's just crank that engine down. Okay. Eh. Keep it about even for the two of them. I don't know if this is going to go well. Hey, today Vony has announced the successor to the massively successful Play System 2. The new console is predictably called the Play System 3 and comes with an impressive hardware configuration, making it the most powerful gaming console in gaming history. The console also doubles as a player for Blu-ray, which Vony hopes will be the successor to DVD format. All this comes with a hefty price tag, also making the Play System 3 the most expensive console ever. <laughs> oh, Legend of Link. You know what? We will... I think I think we will actually call that one. Uh, rename it to the Legend of Link. Because that is actually a pretty good um, reference. Okay. Because Xeon just makes me think Gundam. And that's it's screwing with my head a little bit. Okay, do we get do we get 100,000? Ah, oh, just shy of. Okay, where does this pl place us? Uh, voted number one. Ooh! Okay, so apparently people really like the idea of the Legend of Xeon. Okay, in that case, let's, uh, let's go all in. Large campaign. Okay, level design. Oh, yeah. This is going to be pretty good. So we don't need AI that much. The level design is high. Dialogues are important. And we'll do dialogue tree as well. Because it cost, costs me money. Bah! Unfortunately, people are starting to get stressed, which means that this is going to be... Not the greatest game. I kind of wish you could pause game development for a bit. Send everybody on vacation. Like, mid-product. Uh, and come back. That said, they're still making a pretty damn good game regardless. So graphics are important, sound, world design. So floor is a stress. Let's send in somebody else. Liam Barnes. Yeah, that solves the problem. Okay. So this is probably going to have the highest design stat of any game I make. Tech stat's going to be garbage, but who cares? Hey, this is Jason Green from Gaming World. Just got word that Punch Everything Incorporated is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some... Okay, what decisions do we get into? More on graphic, more on sound. Graphics! Okay, thank you for your time. Just shy of a million people at the convention. Exactly. Okay, and... Other industry professionals agree with me. Yay! So we've definitely reached our design uh, record. Boss is done live. Grid is the name of our very own internet-based distribution prep platform. This system should boost the market share of PC considerably. If we have our own console, it would be of great benefit. Ever have our own. Okay, Grid will automatically generate income every month, which should boost our ability to create new games and develop new projects. Cool. Okay, look at that design stat. Look at that hype. And Keitho generated $24 million in sales. Go, go, Keith! Okay. Let's fix these bugs. A lot of bug fixing, not a lot of stat boosts, but that's okay. Kind of want to make sure we absolutely do not have any bugs. Okay, in what some call a bizarre show of arrogance, Vony representatives have been trash talking Micronauts' successful Unbox 360 while praising their own upcoming Play System 3 in the lead up to their launch later this month. Asked about the unusually high price of the Play System 3, a high-ranking company official replied, people will work more hours to buy one. We want people to feel like they want it more than anything else. We're not sure that players will really want it so badly, as so far no major, major game titles 
have been announced for the PlayStation 3. It might be a while before developers are able to take full advantage of the powerful new console. Okay. There we go. No more bugs. Good. Okay. New combo, good management. Yay! 3D graphics V2. Maybe we can get uh, V3 graphics now. Or maybe that's what stereoscopic is. And salary increases. Okay, so first and foremost, everybody goes on vacation forever because that is how, how this game works. I really wish there's a button that just sends everybody on vacation. Okay, play system 3 is out. That's fine. Uh, Legend of Zeon is in. Oh yeah, I forgot to rename it. Falls a bit short. Fun at stages. Dungeon RPG is a great combo. Has its moments. Well, shit. Yeah, whatever. I still have $42 million. That's not a big deal. Uh, generate game report. Legend of Zeon. Well, it's selling a fair amount. Uh, release the source code for one of our older games. I want to die. Doing show. Yeah, sure. Give it away. Whatever. I'm going to get your golf spin-off game. Okay. Not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, R&D lab needs to be assigned. No, it doesn't. Currently, I'm actually going to leave it on uh, getting me more research points. Just for a little while. Okay, so Legend of Zeon did not go well. At all. Engine is not important. Platform genre match is bad. And... Dungeon Young is okay. Focus the entire team on the development of the game. Yeah, so I'm going to have these guys just get us research points for a little while. Because we need it so we can get some cool stuff. Like uh, 2D Graphics V5. Let's see. Basic Physics. Do I have anything for 3D? Or does it have to be... Where is it? Anyway. Multi-platform... Where's my 3D graphics? Did I? I must have already researched it. Kestel soundtrack, tempting voiceover. Okay, and the rest of you find contract work. Yeah, we can do that. Because, yeah, I want as many research points as I can get. Because I'd like to make a new 2D engine now. Get multi platform. Okay, we'll get that the next time we get the chance. I guess that would make sense. That would probably make us more money. Uh, three weeks to do that. I'd rather have the full team. This is reasonable. Okay. Completed basic physics. Let's see. Can we can we research multi-platform? Or is multi-platform 100? Okay. So we're, we're too far off. So what we're going to do is... Nope. Let's let them finish first. Okay. So we've got voiceover now. Let's create... Uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more research. Seeing as we can fit it in. Uh, video playback, no. Advanced cutscenes, no. Mini games, eh. virtual economy, tempting. Let's go for virtual economy. Okay, and it just went gold. But it honestly, it did okay. For getting fives across the board, it did okay. Make Bestiny for the inbox. No, if we're making Bestiny, we're we're uh we're making that multi-platform. Okay, PlaySystem Two will be off the market. 